we're going to tell the story about Baltimore and Chicago. And we're going to tell it backwards, all right? In 1986, I turned in guns and drugs to end the war on drugs. Y'all call it Chirac? Yeah. Well, they call Baltimore Beirut. This all started right here. All right? Right here. This was paperwork filed January the 17th, 2007. See the date? That was for my property from 1986 when I turned in guns and drugs to the police. This right here was court ordered. That's Rob Fix Production. Court ordered from Governor O'Malley. All right? The property that y'all stole from me. You stole it in Illinois and you stole it in Maryland because y'all want to keep the war on drugs alive. I went from Waukegan's Wal worst to Baltimore's best. Yeah, I went from Waukegan's worst to Baltimore's best. See all this? These are the supporters of shorties. You feel me? These are the people that should support me. That's Vicki Lawrence from Mama's Place. That's Kathleen Hughes, TV One, Radio One. You feel me? And y'all made me famous for Shorty Pull Your Mask Up, TMZ.com. All right? Forum cites multiple factors for influence kids to join gangs. I gave you a, a program that worked. You feel me? I gave you a program that worked. Halloween parties. Yeah. I'm on with Runners for Justice. And this is where I started at. On Falls Road. Shorty's Underground Ribs. That's Ray Lewis and Shorty. Like I said, this is a documentary in a movie. And everything is documented. That's Fall Fest. We talking about the criminalization of poverty. Ask Governor Westmore about this. I'm a part of Job Opportunity Task Force. You feel me? Should we pull your mask up? No, we're going to mask Baltimore. We're going to do it all. You feel me? We're going to do it all. That's Devin Allen and Shorty. See that? Job Opportunity Task Force. Like I said, the criminalization of poverty. A ceasefire. Nobody killed nobody. You ain't gonna have no ceasefire unless you address the war on drugs. That's Scott Schellenberger. I got locked up for making this movie about Baltimore. And I used the toilet to do it. The toilet is my political soapbox. You feel me? The toilet is a political soapbox. Me and Best of Book Bus gave out over one point. Three million books since I started this, all right? And this is one of the books she gave me, A Time to Pee. I took that book and turned it into something for me. It's still shorty. You feel me? I'm still shorty and I'm still standing. That's my daughter's graduation in 2007 from Riverside University in Milwaukee. These are elected officials. Vanessa Attenberry has evidence and knowledge. I got her on film. So do you. So do you. A toilet don't care if you're black, white, straight, or gay. A toilet take your shit every day. Did you use the toilet today? You're going to think about me tomorrow. That's the Baltimore Sun. Get Shorty, 2006. That's the Baltimore Sun. Y'all know who he is. Y'all know where I'm at. We're talking about the murder and the death of black people in America. Genocide in 2024. I stand for Palestine, and this is the reason why. That's Chief Justice Roberts of the Supreme Court. I'm a whistleblower on the courts. You see that? Whistleblower on the courts. And Senator Cardin's got it. And President Trump got this. I'm a whistleblower on the courts. Baltimore rewired the money behind the machine. You feel me? Change your product, don't change your hustle. I'm writing books about Baltimore. If David Simon could do Baltimore to the wire, I can do Baltimore rewired. I'm the cook, and I'm getting ready to cook y'all up. Y'all want to protect Scott Schellenberger? I don't mind. Can't stop the truth from coming out. That's a book. That's a book. See the book. See the crook. See the book. See the crook. See the book. This is rap. We ain't even bust a rapper on this. This is going to make it more expensive. It's a hard copy because we're going to take a hard look at you. I'm going to talk about Baltimore City and Baltimore County courts and the corruption in your courts. The money you make off black bodies. Stop and frisk zero tolerance. The gun task force. Baltimore City's under dissent decree. Baltimore County ain't. 
And that's my store on Falls Road. That's Ozzy Newsom. That's Governor O'Malley. See? 11190 Falls Road. That's my store. And I used it as a film studio. Like I said, I went from Baltimore's worst to Baltimore's best. All about your prison industry. You feel me? So I'm going to shit on you seven days a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Did you use the toilet today? That's Governor Westmore. Did you use the toilet today? That's uh, Marilyn Mosby. That's Adrian Jones. Did you use the toilet today? That's Clippinger. That's Conway. That's Thelma Branch. And I'm leaving you for a special guest for Sunday. It's the time to pee. Donald Trump, did you use the toilet today? I told you I was making a movie about you. See that? Arts and promotions in Baltimore, New York, Philadelphia, and Chicago. You feel me? Dwayne G. Davis, shorty. You got that? Because that's me on the House of Cards. I was the cook. That's Ozzy Newsom, Ed Mulatello, and shorty. That's Marilyn Mosby and shorty. That's Marilyn Mosby. That's Marilyn Mosby's toilet in a book. You talking about parole and probation. Baltimore rewired the money behind the machine. You feel me? And I'm weaving in Baltimore since 2011. That's Senator Antonio Hayes. He got this book. Senator Antonio Hayes has this book. And it's called I Am Dred Scott. That's Governor Westmore. That's Governor Westmore. You see that? State of Maryland. Then we talk about we the people. You feel me? We the people. So do we the people got rights? Because like I said, art and activism. Baltimore's arts district. Leaders of a beautiful struggle. See that? President Biden. These are your elected officials. And I had a very healthy conversation with Jackie Addison. So ask her about the conversation. Same story with Brooke Learman. And Kwaisi and Fumi asked for an investigation. Do blacks have rights in which white America respects? This is my last word. No! I know they don't. That's Kaylin Young. You can get my paperwork from Kaylin Young. In 2024 session, I want exoneration of the Supreme Court. We're going to put Dred Scott to the test. It's my whistleblower, the movie. Whistleblower, the movie. All right? And it ain't no longer just making a movie. That's the Department of Justice. And that's the movie. Shorty, pull your mask up? Yeah. Take a negative, turn it into a positive. Those are the criminal charges against Scott Schellenberger. We talking about voter suppression by the Democratic Party in 2010. That's Governor O'Malley and the mom machine. Like I said, making a documentary against the law. That's WVON, Roland Martin. And this is the Board of Elections. That's the Supreme Court, a notice of the Supreme Court. And Baltimore County got this information. That's the Supreme Court, Chief Justice Roberts Clerk. All right. And that's the Get Shorty program. Like I said, I put it in the book. I put it in a book. See the date? Filed. See the date? That's the other property you took from me. You took it in Illinois, you took it in Maryland, and you took it in uh, Waukegan twice. And these are the lawyers. We talk about corruption in the courts. That's registered disciplinary committee. Town hall, community in crisis. Like I said, I'm a whistleblower on the prison industry. That's Fox 45, and that's me, an inmate. That's TV One, Radio One, Roland Martin, Roland Ascot Martin. You see, it's all here in the book. Maryland's prison industry, the House of Cards, Baltimore rewired the money behind the machine. We talking about two hundred fifty million dollars in intellectual property theft. You the governor, you part of the movie. Remember the book, 
the other Westmore. Well, this one is the real Westmore. Governor of the state of Maryland. 